guys, today we are going to talk about EBSCOhost. Now first, I'm going to show you how to get to EBSCOhost from the Ori County Schools webpage. First, we'll go to Our Schools. And then we shall go to the Academy for Arts, Science, and Technology. Click on EBSCOhost, and you should be at the EBSCOhost login. Now you'll log in with user ID and password given to you by the school. Hey guys, today we are looking at EBSCO. Now that you've signed in, here is a list of all the databases that EBSCO provides. Now we're This is a really useful page. It allows you to narrow your search so you just don't get all of the results. Because some of it may be too much, too old, or just the wrong type of text. Now, here is our search box. So let's go ahead and search something. These are our results. Up at the top here, at the left, we can see that we have 231,727 results. That is a lot, and if that's too much for you, you can refine your results here. There are also several different source types that you can choose. News, magazines, academic journals, trade publications, and reviews. To access an article, you can just select the title. Here, this one looks good. Up to the right, there will be the images from the article. You can either select one individually, or you can click go to all images and view them all at the same time. Now here's the author, the source, document type, the subject terms, the keywords, and here is the actual body. Down to the bottom here, you can scroll through the different results by clicking on these arrows. To the right, EBSCOhost provides several tools to help you in your research, like add to folder, print, email, save, cite, export, create a note, permalink, or bookmark. Up top here we have the search history, visual search, advanced search, basic search, choose databases if you want to go back, and show all. Next, I'm going to show you how to cite your sources very easily. Yay! Hey guys, today I'm talking to you about EBSCO. Right now, I'm going to show you a very easy way to cite. So we're going to come over here and put cite underneath the tools. This should give you a list of citations in different formats. And there they are, your citations. Now I've taught you how to get to EBSCO, how to navigate EBSCO, and how to get citations in EBSCO. Now I wish you good luck on your research.